sweet to see these kids that learned how to play standing on something to be tall enough to play. And he hits the ball really, really well. And he has great passing. His uncle is Wolfgang Brewer, the other great player out of Austria. Yeah, but uh, never underestimate the underdog with Nico Schlager. Is, that, is he the underdog, though? He might be a full year older. Look at this, the height and size difference. Uh, I don't think he's the underdog. Why is Nico the underdog? Do you think Nico's the underdog? Yeah, I think uh, Laurin has some quite of an advantage. Uh, like you say, um, re really a foosball family and with that advantage uh, with winning some stuff. And uh, if you look at the rankings, uh, he is currently fifth in the junior singles ranking in this year. Yeah, well, Nico's not ranked, and he's part of that German machine. Am I wrong, or is that the German flag right there? That's, That's the German, German flag, yes. Yeah, he's uh, part of that German machine. He looks like he's eight inches taller. And um, I like to see that birth certificate. Because, <laughs> 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 uh, but I'm, no, I'm just kidding. I'm sure he's 13 years older or younger. And look at that punishing push shot, That's one far push, push shot. These kids are animals. That's yeah, one Nico's really no underdog. You see it right there. Nico's no underdog in the chat. I would put Nico as maybe the favorite, maybe the heavy favorite. Yep, you're right, Leo. Wolfgang is Lauren's uncle. So, like I said, it's always adorable to see someone play on a, on a stool because you know that's how they learn to play, to be tall enough to grab the rods. And, but you know, Lauren's an animal. We saw Lauren win doubles last night and he roars when he scores and he, he yells and he emotes and it's the kind of stuff I love to see, the drama and theater of someone playing high level foosball. Yeah, let's look at this attacking play from Nico Schlager. Gets it to the front three. He's attending the snake shot. But a nice save from, from Laurin here. But and, and a great recovery to, yeah. to save it, but immediately punch it out so that Nico didn't get an opportunity to rebound and get another shot on the three bar. Bank That's shot, far nice wall. Shot. And I don't think Nico is an underdog. Yeah. I don't think he's an underdog. I think he's uh, got incredible ability just from watching him yeah, for a minute or so. You saw that reaction from Laurin as well. It was one really good shot. Yeah. So a tall player generally has advantages in foosball because part of hitting the ball hard is compressing the ball from a pin position. And it's easier for a tall player to do, to get behind the ball because they, they get easier for them to torque down on the rod. And we're talking about a massive height difference between the two kids, like the oh, far wall bank. So immediately starting out with high level, high skill. Look at that's a beauty, the far yeah. wall bank. Now we should also say that they've each picked their home table. And the Leonhardt is the home table for Nico, we're assuming. Mm -hmm. And that the um, Garland, is it the? Um, Garlando. Garlando is the, I'm looking over to see if I can see it. And we're not counting him out in, in any way. Lauren is a fiery young man, and he, um, he, he doesn't stop. He doesn't give up. But this isn't his home table. So let's see what happens next. Yeah, he just works. I think just was a little bit. He was off a man. We'll see now. Yeah, it went off a man. Was it? I think it was the wrong choice, but it was the right choice because it hit the corner of the man and scored. I don't think he meant to go split anyway, but it doesn't matter. It's a point is a point. Yeah, that's what counts. Uh, but a nice save again from Nico here, and he manages to get it in his uh, five uh, side rod here. <laughs> hey, you see ah. that fire? <laughs> you gotta love it. Come on! Hey, come on! God, I'm so happy to see someone give some give some emotions to their play, and I love that about Lauren. I uh, didn't quite catch a pass here, but. I think Nico is really good in blocking right now. Well, Lauren's, Lauren might get these hustle points that we saw. We just saw Heinrich, Ruben Heinrich, Heinrich. beat Felix Drews. And he beat Felix Drews in three games straight. And he beat him with um, fighting, fighting harder between possessions. 
And it was so much less about passing and scoring than it was just being faster rod to rod. Look at that really oh, smart off the wall pass from Lauren. That's now, just pure art in my opinion. But again, a nice save. Uh, he's often trying to hit that right corner of the goal, but Nico is already, already staying there most of the time and just blocking it. So here's why these kids are dangerous. Is it the summertime in Germany? Or do you guys have summer like school and then summer break? Yeah, do you summer have vacation that? in some parts of Germany, yes. These kids will play 20 hours per day. They'll practice 20 hours per day and they'll have fun doing it. It's not like <laughs> hard work for them. Beautiful shot there by Nico. Now he's up 4-2. Those, those of us that are adults that unfortunately have jobs and bills to pay, we don't get to play 20 hours a day. We stopped playing 20 hours, 20 hours a day when we were kids. So these guys are playing all day long, and they're doing um, incredible stuff on the foosball table at home. I think Nico's blocking pretty decent overall, and a five-bar shot to close it out. The foot of the man is so different, but not unlike a Bonzini, the foot of the man is so different. Look at that nice pass. Beauty. <laughs> Whatever that Austrian sound is, that's a, just, a, a just grunt. A, a grunt of excitement. A feral grunt of excitement. Oh, quick, uh, gets the ball back quickly. A good recovery there. Reset. I called reset right during the yes. score, and he's going to get the point. I guess you can't get distracted by the judge. He called reset right <laughs> when the ball went in. What a great break. Imagine the referee trash talking. Now, and maybe Lauren has a Leonhardt at home, but the way Lauren's playing now, you could tell Lauren plays 10 hours a day on Garlando. Now that's... Uh, Big difference here. Push side effort blocked and recovered on the five bar. Oh, come, which means come on, thank you. That's good knowledge. Come, which means come on. It, it's a more efficient way. We say it in two words in the US. We say come on. Home, we should probably just like, short I it. I like the Spanish of vamos as well. Vamos? Yes. Vamos. Ah, that's what one beautiful sweet pass. pass yep. I think we're going to hear another cum if he blasts this one. Oh. Five bar recovery on the rebound and goes to Nico. Nico has shown himself to be a dangerous, dangerous threat from the two bar. He's got all the banks, and he's got a nice push shot. And oh, then the reverse oh. push kick. Ah, he's just... Uh, and it went long. Ah, he can't sh uh, score with the wall now, right? Huh? He can't score with the wall right now. Yeah, he's he's shooting very well from the two bar. These kids are incredibly good. They're so amazing to watch play. Now, Lauren already won the doubles event. And he'll be able to, well, I see it's, it's under 13. I think he's 12. So I think when this event rolls around again in two years, he may be too old to play it. However, at the rate, he's 12 for crying out loud. He looks so good. He's going to, yeah. he'll be too good anyway to play this And we're event going to see them for sure in some open competition. Though. If he decides to continue playing, there's no reason why he should be allowed to play in the under 13. He's too good already. <laughs> some sweet defensive action here. Well, great hand speed. And that's another advantage that the tall player has. Not only does the tall player, player have the advantage of leverage on the ball, compression, and power, they have longer arms to reach the rods quicker. And, uh, you know, you got to have rod speed, and some people do it with their length. And he can just reach over and collect the rod because of his arm length. Nico uh, have a good save here. Nico needs to improve his three bar shooting just a little bit. He's getting the possessions. He might get beat from the two bar though. Oh, 
shot. That's again. right, another Good one. Shot again. Yeah, what another beautiful pull kick. I'm impressed by their level, by their level of technique right now. It's amazing. These kids hit the ball incredibly well. And you know what else I'm impressed with? The table management. Yeah, and I think this opportunity might arise now. Reset. Oh, referee is calling a reset again. I think. He's getting and credit to Nico for the defense and the incredible shooting from the two bar. Recovery on the five bar. Just reaches over with those long arms, grabs it. Brush down pass, just misses the catch. Lauren's got to generate offense from somewhere, and and he gets a break. Still in it, not going away. I want to see a third game. Not because I have a fan of any of the kids, but just because it'd be fun to see it go to a third game. I really love the lengthy games where you can really grasp attention. Yes. Where, where it's just sizzling in the air. Right, the stress builds. Shoots across, beautiful shot and, and equally good defense for Nico, who has his hands back there. This is where he's been dangerous, and this is where you just, if he gets so much behind the ball, he gets really strong leverage behind the ball. That was a beautiful push shot that just missed. And the push shot is a zone breaker shot. It's easy to see the holes on the push shot. I just put wide here. Uh, would have been awesome to see that goal. Another shot on goal. He reaches over, grabs it with a three bar, an opportunity to get up to a decisive 4-2 lead here in this critical second game. Misses it. Lauren recovers on the three bar. Kind of a break and a good one for Lauren if he could score. Yeah, Lauren's a he. I made that mistake two days ago when he was roughing a match. Oh, switching to a pull shot. I like it. Blocked, but I still like it. Let's see if there's if he's confused or goes back to the pull shot. It's gonna sit on that ball a little bit. Nico putting up the brick wall, not letting Lauren have any daylight. Continues to get blocked. Going back to the three bar, going back to the rollover, and gets one. Shoots yeah. a split. That was the come again. Yeah, come, come, come. let's go. I like it. I'm gonna start saying it. Come. People are gonna ask me, what are you talking about? I'm gonna say allegedly. It means, come on. Great recovery by Lauren to get his left hand back there and get the ball back. Fortunate to get it back on the three bar. He's going to stay with the snake shot, I think. Looks like, yeah, it looks like it. And another good save. So sometimes, and that's really good defense by Nico. Don't get me wrong. It's not this frenetic, fast paced, jumpy, chasing the man defense. But Lauren needs to switch up his timing. And I don't mean, it could be take more time, it could be take less time. It just needs to be a different time. It's it's on the same time almost every time. And uh, when you're under stress, it can, it's easy to forget that. It's easy to, to loop. You loop in your mind, you yeah, keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. And Nico can get used break. to it. Yep. And Nico, one point away from being the under 13 or 13 and under world champion. Anticipates there the pass on the wall. You got fans for Nico in here that want to see this match get closed. And of course, if you're a, a fan of Nico and a fan of Germany, would it be fitting if he ended it from the two bar? After all those early points from the two bar. Yeah, Warshop would be uh, really fun. But uh, I think for that we have to switch back to the Leonhard. <laughs> I don't know what he said. That <laughs> uh, he just said "ein noch ein," so just one goal. Just one goal. I love it, man. I love a 12-year-old that doesn't care about the crowd at all, just in their space. Oh, he needs one more to make it to third game. I agree with you, Captain Mello. It's true. Just needs one possession where he takes his time, a lot of time. Timeout. And that's the timeout. So now Nico with the opportunity to put this away. Brush down pass. Lauren picks it up on the two bar. And what's 
Lauren going to do? Is he going to put this away from the two bar and get to a third game? Oh, oh, great. Uh, what a break. Yeah. What a break. Oh, he gets it on his three bar. And here's a chance for Nico to win the world championship. And, and he does it. There it is. Nico is the 13 and under world champion. Incredible play, Nico. You got both of you have an incredibly bright future. You got to um, credit Nico for playing solid play from the two bar and three bar. Lauren, such a fiery young man, he's upset, but he's got to know that it, it's a, a huge accomplishment to get into this final on this stage. And what a bright future for both in yeah. anything, if they want to stick with it. Yeah, congratulations to Nico and. And Lauren, there's a lot, there's a lot more foosball left to be played, young man. Keep your head up and um, feel the feel the success of getting to the final.